Hey all, Russ RV TV, welcome. Check it out. It is early, early morning. We're gonna hit the road. Still in Mackinac City here. One last look. Man, this place is just packed. And I mean packed full of history. What a cool stop. So glad I came here. Still got some maps and stuff here I had I didn't even see yesterday. I mean you could wander around here for a week and not see it all. There's the mighty bridge. We're getting ready to cross it like now. <laughs> Winds calmed down from yesterday. So anyway. So along the lower state of Michigan, we're gonna head to the upper peninsula. We're gonna head up, we're gonna do some miles today. I'm doing quite a few miles. This is a travel day for me. I gotta pick up the pace a little bit. I'm gonna head all the way up to Copper Harbor way up on the northern part of the Upper Peninsula. But first we got across this mighty mighty bridge. Kind of looking forward to this. And away we go. I-75 North. Can you imagine the amount of traffic that crosses this thing every day? It's a toll bridge too. You got to pay on the other side. Not sure how much. We're gonna find out. When you read about this thing, it's uh, a little over four miles long. Spans a big waterway here. There's a little pull-out area. Looks like they're working on this thing. Can you imagine in the winter? Big old snowstorm. <laughs> Coming across this thing. Look at that. They got metal grating. You can go see straight down to the water there. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at this. They're working on it right here. Hope they tighten the cables good. <laughs> I know I talked to a couple people. They don't like crossing this thing. You're up here, here. A few hundred feet in the air here. Nothing but water under you. These bridges are safe, though. Hopefully. <laughs> We're doing it. There's a big ship way off to the right. I won't be able to film it. I gotta keep my eyes on the road here. Another big truck. Yeah, plowing snow. Run a snow plow down through here during the winter. <laughs> oh boy. Then I guess this waterway, the straits, it freezes up. Tons of history though. We got blue sky today. It's supposed to heat up pretty good later. But when we get up all the way up Copper Harbor, uh, that'll be on Lake Superior. Actually, there's a little park on the other side here. We'll stop, get another uh, look at the bridge. Okay, we did it. Look at this. We're on the downhill here. Yay! <laughs> so there you go. You just now crossed the Mackinac Bridge. How about that? Pretty calm. They say it's windy here all the time, but not bad this morning. Water looks a little choppy. And we 
gotta pay money up here. I don't know what they charge. But welcome to the Upper Peninsula. Okay, pull up here. Pay the lady. Hello. Let's go across the bridge. Okay, right up here should be Highway 2. We're going to take that. Start trucking west. But we'll find that little park. I have it mapped out here on my phone. So we got to pick up Highway 2 real quick. We're super close to Canada. Canadian border. Highway 2. Coming up. We'll stay on two for a while, then we're going to keep zigzagging up to the northern uh, shores, way up there at Copper Harbor. U.S. Highway 2, it, it's a long road. This goes through a lot of states here. need to make a left here looks like just about a quarter half mile down here we'll get right back down to the water it's supposed to be a little park down here a little park and visitor center I don't I don't believe the visitor center will be open we'll find out but look at the view of the bridge. This is why I wanted. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm the only one here. Even better. Yeah, this place is closed. What's the bell for? Ring the bell. Wow. South Tower fog bell. Oh, they hung them under the bridge. Oh, man. During the fog. So ships knew where the bridge was. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, this thing's closed and empty. <coughs> Everything's over on the other side, probably. Okay, there's the mighty bridge. What a view. That is some type of architecture there. Well, that's kind of our last look at Lake Michigan and Huron. So far we've hit Erie, Lake Erie, Michigan a lot, a little bit of Lake Huron. So we've seen three great lakes. Not bad, huh? And we're on our way to see a fourth one. What a place to visit, though. The shorelines of Michigan. Mackinac City itself. Now the Upper Peninsula. These waterways just stretch on forever. Nice and green. Flat, though. There's not many mountains here. It's flat as a pancake. Look at it. <laughs> Right down there is where I gave him four bucks. 
We can see the island out there. There's Mackinac Island straight on out. It's early morning. Sun's just now getting up. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, we need to head back up that way. Connect up with Highway 2. And get trucking west. There's that big ship out there that I spotted going across the bridge. Looks tiny from here, doesn't it? They're not, and things are hundreds of feet long. Absolutely perfect stop, perfect view of the bridge, good lighting from the sun. Alright, let's rock. Here is Highway 2. This kind of skirts along the waterways when you look at it on the maps. I got plenty of fuel. I topped off late yesterday. Fuel prices for diesel, it's been averaging anywhere from 320 to 350. Gasoline, I don't know. I don't pay much attention to it. I don't buy it anymore. But so far, so good. Pretty fast paced road, 65 plus, so I have to uh, keep an eye on the road. It's hard to film when we go this fast. Here's the shoreline, here's the water coming back up. Look at all the sand dunes here. Dune Shores Resort. When you look on the maps, it's quite a few campgrounds in there. Around this place. There's old Lake Michigan from a different view. We've been looking at it from at the lower part of the state. Not much population up here. This is wide open. Got some pretty nice rest areas here along this road. Highway 2, it goes clear across the country. I mean, this thing will go all the way through, uh, I believe, what, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota? Yep. I know I've uh, driven on it. Oh, here's a little community going up through Montana. Did the High Line a few years ago. White Church. This is small town USA right here, right on one busy highway. What a cool place. Another resort. But when you take account all the area of the Great Lakes that surround Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. Michigan is one big place. It covers a huge chunk of uh, land and water. There's a really good look, last look at Lake Michigan. It's been our friend for quite a few videos. Sure appreciate seeing it, but time to keep rolling.
Well, look at some of the trees. They've died out in here. Wonder if they had fire. I bet fire kind of got them. Here's our turnoff, Highway 117. We're going to start trucking north. We're going to zigzag our way up to Copper Harbor. Alright, right up here is Highway 28. We're going to make a left. Keep on trucking west. Isn't this Upper Peninsula cool? Look how flat it is. It's flat as a pancake. <laughs> We're quite a ways from any water yet, though. But what a pretty place. Just flat. Trees, green. They got snowmobile paths up here too. I seen some signs say snowmobiles okay. <laughs> Probably a main way to get around in the winter time, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, this is Munising, Michigan. I hope I pronounced that correct. Going to the phone. There's a little uh, visitor center here. They got pictured rocks and glass bottom boat tours. But there's supposed to be a visitor center that has all kinds of cool pictures. I want to find it. Make a quick stop. Take a break. Small town USA. I can see water off to the right. So we're getting up on the Lake Superior side of uh, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Wow. <laughs> there it is. That brick building. There it is. There's our visitor center. Pictured rocks. Read about it online. It's supposed to be pretty good. Let me find a place to park. We'll go check it out. Oh, look at this old building. They're all old here. Just an old, old fishing town. Boy, if these walls could talk, huh? Storm shelter there. I mean, my goodness, look at this. Picture of a horse, carriage. Huh. There is history upon history up here. Oh, good, it's open. Yay. We can go inside. Boy, they got this town uh, roads all tore up here. Of course, their window of working on roads is limited, I'm sure. This must be downtown. All right, let's go on in. Lake Superior Fisheries, trout, whitefish. You know, I heard that whitefish is really, really good. I gotta find some before I get out of this area. Old pictures, fishermen's stories and history. I bet that is just vast here. Every family probably has a fisherman in it. Lives up here. What a way of life, huh? Look at them, clean and fish. All the storms being out in the lakes. Jeez. All right, what else we got? Information, first visitors to Upper Michigan. Some Native American stuff.
Banking comes to town. Wow, look at them old bills. Look at them. $10 bill with a buffalo. Huh. In this vault, look at that thing. <laughs> Goodness. Shows how old this building is, huh? My goodness. Oh, there's some impictured rocks. Nice. Wow, look at the waterfall shooting off that one. Beautiful photo photographs here. Huh. This is a photographer's dream. I'll be darned. Look at the size of that fish. My goodness. <laughs> There's the band. Hey. In the water. That must be where all their glass bottom boats run out of. Well, very well done. Wow, look at this map. Shows where all the rocks are, the pictured rocks. Well, perfect little stop. Nice little break from driving, but I got a lot of miles to do yet. We'll see what else we can uh, get into on our way out of town here. Or tour boat, plenty of parking. You could park a. There, that guy's got a truck camper. You could bring a rig down in here. Big old park, park benches, have a picnic. Great little stop. If you're long, uh, what is it? Highway 28 here. Well, I better snag up some fuel real quick before we keep on trucking. We got a few miles left to get up uh, Carper, Copper Harbor, way up top of Michigan. Well, no matter where you go <laughs> here, it's scenic. You stay along the shorelines and all that, and all these great lakes. I mean, look at this little town nestled right in here in the waterways. Perfect weather, blue sky, calm water. There's a boat out there right now. Plenty to do and see campgrounds, RV parks all over the place. You can feel the temperature kind of, it's still warm it's summer but it, it's cooler so if you want to escape the heat from the south or the desert west like i am <laughs> perfect look how you can see right down in the water isn't that too cool The wheels are rolling. The journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>